Hi there, welcome back. This is Firefighter Cafarata and thank you for joining me in Firefighter Safety Tips with Firefighter Cafarata. We're in my kitchen right now and we're looking uh, for smoke detectors. Every household should have them. Apartments, households. Now, you'll see them in like apartment hallways, but in the apartments itself, you should have them and in households, you should have them. Now, every living space should have one. Now, what I mean by that is, uh, I ate something. So, in the kitchen and in the bathroom, that's not really a living space. That's a cooking area, it's a bathing area. Those places, uh, they create steam, they create like, you know, uh, there's different smoke from like cooking like this. Now, it could be from oils and whatever like that. And if you had them in here, it would cause, uh, cause a false alarm. So it wouldn't be accurate. So you don't want to do that. You want to only have them in like hallways, living areas, like living rooms, dining rooms, uh, breakfast rooms. Um, but when it's a kitchen and a bathroom, it's a no-go. Laundry rooms, you can't have them in laundry rooms, but sometimes they can get a little steamy too. So you could play it out. You could try one, see how it is. If it's a very confined space, that might be kind of challenging. Uh, it, it should be a well-ventilated space as well. Let's go on and I'll show you basically where I have them. So in my house, I have them in my hallway. So right here, my hallway. So you can feel it, you can check it out. And it's gonna make a little noise, it's gonna be annoying. It's, it's annoying, it's loud, but it actually works really well. Bathrooms, now we have skeletons. Let's see, we have spooky guys in the shower, but we don't have any fire or smoke detectors. Okay, no smoke detectors. And bedrooms, like my bedroom right here, we got them. So we got one right above us. Now, you should replace batteries once every six months. That's very, very important. You want to sleep with the door closed. Why, you might ask? Well, super important. You know why? Because if there is a fire and there's smoke in the house, what's going to kill you first? The fire or the smoke? The smoke. The smoke kills you first because what it does is it comes through the house. It's like a silent killer. There might be a fire in the kitchen, but the smoke will be everywhere else traveling. You might be asleep. You might not get up in time, and it could overcome you. All the toxic fumes, the gases, carbon monoxide, not good. So sleep with the door closed. The kids' rooms, your room, any floor you're at, if you're on the second floor or first floor, uh, you could sleep with the door, the window open. The window should be slightly open so you get some fresh air. You could have a heater on still, it's all good, but sleep with the door closed. Okay, so we're gonna go back out. Now, how often you should change uh, smoke detectors, the batteries? Once every six months. So these guys, once every six months. Fall back, spring forward. So always change them out. So think about fall back, spring forward, uh, winter or spring. That's when you switch it out. They're 9-volt batteries. You can buy them at Home Depot, Amazon. Uh, they're relatively cheap. You want to buy ones that I believe you could switch out the batteries because if you get the ones that are 10 years, who knows if they're accurate, if they're reliable. You know, there's no proof as of yet, you know, because it's all kind of new still. But the ones that you switch out the batteries, they're the best, the most reliable. They've been around the longest. So in my son's room, carbon monoxide detectors. You should have them in the house also. Um, you could have them in living spaces, you could have them in, near the furnace, you could have them near the water heater. Uh, you plug them in. The ones that you plug in I like because they're plugged in and they also have a backup battery, which you also switch out once every six months. So this would be one right here. I'm going to go down so you can see it. So right there, you can see that right there. Kitty, K-I-D-D-E, and it's carbon monoxide alarm. It'll notify me in the middle of the night or any time during the day if there is perhaps uh, an issue. If there is some carbon monoxide in the house, and sometimes we get false alarms and stuff happens, but if there is, you know, it could, it'll definitely wake you up. But, you know, you open up all your windows, you know, and if it's severe enough, you know, you're going to get flush, tired, sleepy, uh, lethargic, you know, you're going to turn red. Um, you know, open all the windows, call the fire department. Uh, and then, you know, also, it could also be a low battery. But, you know, uh, most of the time, you know, play it on the safe side and, and do the right thing. So buy carbon monoxide detectors, have them in bedrooms, have them in the living room, you know, have them in, uh, near the furnace. You can. It doesn't hurt. It's good. So that's with smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, join me soon, and I'm going to be doing another video, fire safety video, on um, securing different cabinets and stuff. So anyway, thanks again. Talk to you later. Join my YouTube channel. This is Marcel Cafaretta, Firefighter Cafaretta, and talk to you later. Bye-bye.